Today we're making it snow on Magic Arena and unleashing Merit Lage in Historic. What do you think, Bear? Give us your best Merit Lage face. Hey, hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Safrana Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. And if you didn't figure it out from that intro, we're playing some snow today. We're heading to Historic to play the winning card in last week's poll, Merit Lage's Slumber, in a snow deck that's trying to get a 2020 indestructible Merit Lage on the battlefield as quickly as possible. So let's talk about the deck, what it's trying to do, jump into some games and see if you can actually make a Merit Lage on Magic Arena. So our namesake card, our build around Merit Lage's Slumber, a two man enchantment that says, when inner snow permanent enters the battlefield, we get to scry one nice little bonus. The big deal is, if we can get to 10 or more snow permanents and make it to our upkeep, we sack Merit Lage's Slumber and make Merit Lage, a legendary 2020 flying indestructible token. So Merit Lage, one shot kill essentially, takes away our opponent's entire life total in one attack. And our plan is to hopefully haste it in. We make it on our upkeep, which means normally you have to wait a turn before killing our opponent, but we have Footfall Crater to smash our opponent with Merit Lage right away by giving it Trample and Haste. The question is, how do we get 10 snow permanents and the big answer is our mana base literally all snow lands and we got a ton of ways to find these lands into the north topiary stomper spirit of all guard uh, one of our snow creatures too so it counts toward merit lage and it's kind of a sleeper it gets pretty big we also have a ramp card i've been wanting to try for a while in traverse the outlet so five mana sorcery you search for x basic lands where x is the greatest power among creatures you control they go right into the battlefield tapped very high risk high reward if we don't have a creature it does nothing Thing. But because we have Topiary Stopper, which is four power, Spirit of All Guard, which is at least four, probably five power by the time we cast Traverse. If we have one of these creatures out, Traverse can be ramping us four or five lands with one card, which gets us up to 10 snow lands and turn on Merit Lage's Slumber and lets us smash our opponent with Merit Lage really early in the game. Otherwise, Icebreaker Kraken, kind of a backup snow payoff. Escape to the Wilds, a couple of Hydroid Crosses for card draw, Frostbite for removal, Sideboard, Punch removal and Sweepers, some counters, some hate cards and that is Merit Lage's Slumber for Historic. That's our Against the Odds deck for this week. So let's jump into some games and see if we can awaken Merit Lage from its very snowy slumber. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need some Fractal all be one cards? Well you can snag them from our awesome sponsor Card Kingdom over at cardkingdom.com slash Goldfish. Against the Mr. Plue. Oh no. Oh no. And Nicole Ball. Oh, Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Are we up against a blue control deck? We are trying to unleash Merit Lodge in Magic Arena. And uh, that sounds pretty good. I mean, the man is a little awkward. We're going to have to Fable Passage one of the two colors. Uh, all right. Well, we get Thought Seize. Let's see if our opponent respects the possibility of a Merit Lodge awakening from its slumber. I mean, this sounds, this sounds fine though. Ramp, removal, payoff, <laughs> random Kraken. All right, they do respect the Merit Lodge. Well, yeah, I think we got to get the red source. Fabled Passage. Oh, boy. Grixis. So much discard. Well, I guess you take into the north. Sure. And surveils to the top. Well, crack the Fabled Passage. Yeah, that seems like a Grixis Crim deck. <laughs> get him out in. Hydroid Crosses. Well, if it doesn't get discarded and we get some mana, that could be good eventually. About it. Thought Erasure. Discard spell number three. Takes the Hydroid Crosses. Surveils away. Discard spell number four. <laughs> okay, Thought Seize. Takes the Kraken. We draw a Kraken. Play the land pass. The There's so much discard. <laughs> so much to end the uh, Ashiok. Mm -hmm. That's actually good against some of our ramp. I mean, the milling isn't especially scary, but that does shut down some of our land ramp. Actually, most of it. Escape. Ooh. If we can resolve escape, that would be big. Opponent. Search for Escata. Take down. All right. All right. So in our dream world, we frostbite the Ashiok, draw land, escape to the wilds, and go from there. Scour all possibilities. Well, we're going to kill the Ashiok. Opponent gets to Purdain for two mana. Both to the top. All right. Untap land, please. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Hmm. A sad crosses. Crosses X1. Land. Well. Topiary Stomper is a future land. Surge for Escanta. Flips it. 
I'm gonna go about last the dragon god and ah. Uh, well, we'll get rid of the Kraken. I do not know if we can beat this. Stomper. A snow-covered mountain hitting a Kobolas. And this can't attack. I mean, I guess so. Escape could save us. If we can escape into two lands, then Top Yuri Stomper can get rid of a Kobolas. If we can get rid of the Bolas, we got a shot. Opponent ticks up. Well, these Krakens have been very good for exiling. Very good for exiling, because we're nowhere near casting them. Opponent passes. Uh, all right, I mean, we gotta fire it off. Hope they don't have a counter. Escape to the wilds. Okay, there's the two lands. And a Merit Lodge's slumber. Interesting. I'll play the two lands, turn on the stomper. Opponent. Gonna be devil the stomper, sure. Oh, so the Nicobolas lives. Well, hit it down to two. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we're getting close. We're getting close to Merit Law. I guess it has a number on there, doesn't it? <laughs> seven. We have seven snow permanents, but eight, nine, ten. Like, technically, if we just play these cards, if we just play these cards, we turn on Merit Lodge's Slumber, and that might be enough. That might be enough. Scour all possibilities. Five mana preordain. That's that's a lot to pay for a preordain, but sure. Two to the bottom. Passes. I mean, do you have a negate? New no. Mirage is slumber. Uh, land to the bottom. I mean, it's gonna get shuffled away anyway by this into the north. Into the north. A faceless haven. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need traverse. It. Well, hmm. Yeah, I think it's too late for traverse to matter. Probably. We're gonna have enough lands anyway. The power of traverse is speeding up to ten lands for slumber to get mirage. After we have ten lands, getting more is. I guess it deck thins, but we could play the land and try to faceless haven the Nicole uh, I think it's safer to just stomp though and get another snow permanent and scry. Fable passage to the bottom. And then snow covered island and scry snow covered forest to the bottom and i think this means we have enough snow permanence that even through nicole bolas uptick we should get merit lash and then the answer is do you have a all right opponent ticks up we get rid of the stomper do you have an answer for a 2020 flying indestructible creature that is the question do you have an answer or i guess i can answer the merit lodge right now but opponent gets rid of the crosses thankfully our faceless havens are good edict fodder wow another nicobo loss we should still have enough though right opponent ticks up we'll get rid of a land i think we still have enough all right slumber flip it draw useless land well, now we're going to Faceless Haven away this Nicole Bolas, just to be safe. Faceless Haven, Faceless Haven. And trust that our opponent can't deal with this? I mean, we put him to the test. That's a Merit Lodge on Magic Arena. <laughs> Do we play the land? Yeah, I guess we might as well. All right, pass the turn. Can you beat it? Do you have an answer? Oh my God. Goodness, they do have an answer. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, an ash. Oh my goodness. Mm. That might be the only. Uh, there are not too many planeswalkers in Grixis that can actually answer. <laughs> Without Edict Day, because we can faceless Haven to get around an Edict. So now I guess we're just going to have to win in the boring way or try to, which is beating down with faceless Havens. I mean, I guess. Faceless Haven is an upside of this deck. Like, it is a very powerful land. Opponent, land, three cards in hand. Chandra Awaken Inferno. Doesn't deal with Faceless Havens. Takes it up for an emblem. Sure, sure, sure. Passes. We get Brunt. Down to 20. Traverse and Outlands. Well, Faceless Haven. I mean, we're, I think, in full on ignore Chandra attack your face mode here. They should just take in the Merit Lay shit. Wow, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> our 2020 indestructible was not good enough but our faceless havens <laughs> got the job done star of extinction hmm i wonder if that's worth it it does get rid of planeswalkers and our bone blade a lot of planeswalkers counters in for sure probably trim icebreaker kraken traverse little inconsistent against decks with a lot of removal Obliterating, but one of the nice things about red removal these days is a lot of it does hit Planeswalkers, which is a, a nice little bonus. Bringing the bolts, a little more damage at Planeswalkers, or not like that. We survived game one, <laughs> somehow, through double Nicole Bolas and the Ashiok to deal with our Merit Lodge. Really want to get our opponent with Merit Lodge, though. This aggression will not stand. We, we need to send a message to this opponent. <laughs> 
that bouncing bouncing our 2020 indestructible is not acceptable about it land well we will fable passage start the deck fitting we got some discard if they have a planeswalker that's important they might take obliterating bolt otherwise crosses is the most powerful card yeah it takes a crosses crack the fable passage yeah let's just take a snow covered island we do have a couple double blue cards volatile fjord Ashiok. Oh, opponent's not even taking a down. Wow, opponent's going full on safety mode, trying to prevent our, our topiary stomper, which makes sense. The Nicole Bolas, the Ravager. Well, we have plenty of lands to discard. Well, get rid of the Nikki B. Play him out, and I really don't want to play the stomper until we get rid of Ashiok. A bonnet, tap land, and passes. Ooh, Faceless Haven, okay. Faceless Haven's a, a way we can maybe get rid of Ashiok. Creature land's good at sniping planeswalkers. Oh boy. Rogobolas, the dragon god. Well, we'll pitch a land. Maybe we should have thought about that more. We might need that forest. Our mana base has a ton of basics, so not having green mana is actually a concern here. Huh, that was probably a mistake. Obliterating Bolt. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. This lets us get rid of Nicole Bolas, most likely. Hey, Nicole Bolas, down to one. Play the land. Play Obliterating Bolt. All right, well, still cannot cast the Stomper. Land for our opponent. At this point, they might as well take down, because Faceless Haven's gonna kill it anyway. Although I can't imagine them milling us out. Ooh, Icebreaker Kraken. Yeah, let's let's cast it. Our deck does have some big creatures. I think they're thinking about scrying, maybe, with Castle Vantress. The question's gonna be how much removal does our opponent have? All right, so we get the 8-8. Are we salting out because of Icebreaker Kraken? <laughs> that would be the one of the weirder salty ropes I've seen. Castle Vantress, sure. Two to the bottom. All right, that's that's what we were hoping for. About it, adepts. Could use some card draw. Being able to refill our hand would be nice. All right, get milled. Now there goes an escape to the wilds. We did kind of want that. Passes. That could be sweet eventually. Well, one, two, three. Fire up the Vaseless Haven. I mean, at this point, I think we just ignore Ashiok. They're, I don't think they're gonna mill us out, so. And we <laughs> made sure we couldn't cast our own topiary stomper. The devil on Icebreaker Kraken. I mean, I guess we pick up some lands. Pick up some lands. Pick up the Kraken. Hit you for four. <laughs> All right, Castle Vandress. Sure, yes, <laughs> that's fine. All right, one to the top, one to the bottom. Well, down to 16. Replay the snow covered forest, and I think, I think, yeah, we're just gonna cycle this footfall into a bear. That's not bad. We don't get to tutor anything up, but it's a it's a six four next turn. Like that's it's a clock. It's a clock. So I'm for our opponent. What's that last guard? Nothing yet. Opponent. Ooh, negate. Negate's nice. Negate is nice. Uh, fire up the faceless haven. Attack you for. 10? Yeah, I mean, Ashiak lives. <laughs> you can have it. Opponent. B devils. Yeah, I think we just negate. Like, this puts us very close to winning next turn. Opponent. Two to the bottom. Okay, odds of us winning next turn increasing. Opponent goes to six. They have to top deck. They have to top deck right now or they die to the bear. Oh, okay, opponent does top deck. It's an Ashiok. Makes a token. So they're just gonna chump? Uh, crater footfall would actually be absurd here. Well, one, two, three. Fire up the faceless haven. Opponent's got a chump. Exile some cards, sure. Down to two. Well, play the land, play the bear. Still can't search, but that maybe Spirit of Old Guard is just good. <laughs> Even when it's not getting the land, it's just beating down our crim opponent. I don't know how they get out of this. They have to deal with both bears. Yeah, okay, gonna gonna mill to send a message. So they got 23 cards in our deck, we're fine. We're not even close to getting milled out. They gotta deal with both bears and have removal for Faceless Haven. That's a big ask with one card in hand. Ashiok answers one, but they need way more than that. Like, I think this basically has to be card draw. All right, so they bounce. We'll finally get rid of this. <laughs> 
Top Fury Stomper. We still, after we discarded that green source, search for Scott. All right, we got it. After we discarded that green source, we never drew another one. <laughs> we have not hit double green all game. The Ashiac was part of that, dude. About it scoops it up. Well, okay. We saw Mirror Lodge in game one. Pony had the answer. Game two, we just beat him down. Although I will say, still a sweet win because whenever you beat the, the Krim deck, <laughs> The control Super Fred's deck, it always feels good. All right, well, Mirage him the next time. Against odds time, we are trying to unleash Merit Lodge on Magic Arena. A bonus, Team Vents, and Nelver of Secrets. Well, tap land, go. Does the Delver flip? Of course. A bonus, tap land, and gets in with the Delver of Secrets. Well, tap land. All right. They opt, we kill the Delver. To the bottom. Storm Carve goes for our opponent, Soul Guide Lantern. Well, our opponent not having any threats is good for us. Us drawing all lands is less less appealing. Opponent untaps, but first stops. To the top, all right, so opponent apparently found a threat or an expressive iteration. They'd probably keep that passing. Well, play the land, run out the bear. Spirit of Old Guard is actually, actually kind of good. It's not that bad. Wow. Sacking the Soul Guide Lantern, sure. Resolves. Red, red. So I guess we need another blue source. Yeah, let's take Snow Covered Island. I mean, in our dream world, our opponent taps out and we get to traverse and just get all of our lands. We probably don't do it if our opponent doesn't tap out. If they don't tap out, then we probably just play another spirit, and then we'll have two two bears to uh, traverse off of. All right, opponent, turn down their unholy heat. Plays another Delver. Well, yeah, run out the bear. Little worried about spell pierce. This time we'll just take a tap land. Play the tap land, pass the turn. Do they get the flip? New. No. Soul Guide Lantern. Opponent's casting a lot of cards, but they're not really doing a ton yet. Sacks to draw a card. Traverse with one creature into open mana is just so risky. Opponent, Brazen Borrower. Okay, I mean, that's kind of fine. Well, run out the bear. I guess another tap land. Volatile Fjorge. Play the tap land past the turn. Does the Delver flip? Yes, with an Archmage's Charm. All right, so we know our opponent has a counter. Down to 13. Passes. Go to combat, hit you for seven. Opponent. Yeah, let's escape to the wilds. I expect this to get countered. Uh, well, we'll pay for the Spell Pierce. Yeah, well, I guess it was good that we played around Spell Pierce because our opponent had a lot of them. Brazen Borrower. So opponent can hit us for six. Is there any way we can win this race? Resolving the Icebreaker Kraken would go a long way. All right, another, cast the Archmage Charm. This Icebreaker Kraken might actually be super good here. Our opponents, ooh, they hit an Unholy Heat. That's a, that's a good one for our opponent. It's gonna be interesting. Unholy Heat. Oh, play the land, play the Kraken. Tap you down. Get in with the faceless haven. Opponent. Down to five, down to five. All right, what do you got? The Kraken's looking kind of lethal. And opponent scoops it up, okay. Icebreaker Kraken power, taking down the control deck. Opponent's playing Delver. Let's go down to Kraken, let's go down two Traverses. Let's go up two Mystical Disputes and an Obliterating Bowl. And you know what? Let's go one more Kraken for a negate, right in like that. Opponent had turn one, flipped Delver, and wasn't enough, wasn't enough. We didn't get Marilage though, which that part's a little disappointing. Eh, all right, we got the Slumber of this game, which is sweet. Dragon Rage Shanala. I mean, I think that's worth killing. This means we don't get to Merit Lage Slumber next turn, but could draw a blue source that's untapped. Passes. Yeah, let's just play the tap land. I don't know if we want to play the Footfall Crater or cycle it. Let's buy ourselves a, a bit more time. Opponent to the top with the opt. Untaps, looking for threats again. Passes. We really want our opponent to spell pierce this. Intentionally not playing the land because we want our opponent 
to spell pierce this so we can get down merit lady slumber consider consider so our opponent does seem scared of this all right well i mean in that case play the land merit lady slumber whoa did they not counter it even though they could have okay just third consider wow opponent is a uh, very considerate <laughs> Consider it opponent. Well, we get to scry. We'll keep the bear. The bear's good. The bear's good. And passes. Well, faceless haven. Scry. Actually kind of okay with just hitting a, oh, it's a tap land. Untap to be so much better. Yeah, we'll keep it. Play the bear. Not expect, well, okay. Well, that definitely takes care of all of our issues. So now we get an untap land. Green, green, red. I think we just need snow covered island. So we get the untap land. Traverse, we already got one. <laughs> Traverse is so risky. It's so good when it works, but it's so risky. Opponent untaps. They do not have Unholy Heat on yet. No, they do have, ooh, okay. Oh, this is interesting. Opponent kills the bear. Cool, so I think the Chandra lives here. Escape to the wilds is too good to pass up. Merit Lodge is slumber. Yeah, we'll keep a faceless haven, sure. Escape to the wilds. No blue mana to counter it. Well, okay, Frostbite's good for next turn. Yeah, play Snow-Covered Forest. We'll keep the Frostbite. Okay, this this worked out pretty well. Abounded untaps. We do need to be aware of Brazen Borrower. That is a clean answer to Merit Lodge, unfortunately. Opponent takes up Chandra. Well, okay, Brazen Borrower and Exile is fine. Let's see if they bounce. You gonna bounce the Slumber? All right, sure. And Surveils. I mean, that's fine. We get to get it back down. We get to kill the Chandra. We get to kill the DRC. So one, two. Oh, actually we only have one red source, don't we? Do we wait on Merit Lash's slumber? All right, play slumber. Breeze Alps. Ice Baker crack into the bottom. Faceless Haven. Actually, you probably should have done that last. Fabled Passage to the bottom. Frostbite Chandra. I am into the north. Red source. Land to the bottom. Well, into the north. Yeah, let's just go for it. Another tap land. Uh, Volatile Fjorge. We'll keep the bear. Technically, we have a 2020 Frying Trampler Haster next turn with Negate Backup. Opponent. Hits with both, no fear. Are you dead? Expressive iteration to draw some cards and surveil. Opponent's gotta find an answer and it needs to get around the gate or it needs to answer before we untap. Brazen Borrower is probably the most likely. A Tuara. But you can't channel. Opponent passes. We get a Merit Lodge. Well, I mean, Trample Haste, about it. Arc Mage's Charm, that's actually a blowout. Uh, negate it. Mystical Dispute, but we can pay. Oh, wow. Okay, while well, stealing Merit Lodge, I did not consider that possibility. Pay? <laughs> we should be good though, right? I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a Merit Lodge. Did we get there? Smack you for exact sees up, Pony scoops it up. Okay, that was good. Oh, that was really good. Oh, it's so sweet when it works. It's so sweet when it works. Well, that was a good one. Sweet, sweet. Against the odds time, we are Mirror Lajin, trying to unleash the 2020 on Magic Green and Historic. And all right, this hand's not super fast, but it's got some uh, got some power once we get going. See what our opponent's doing. Crawling Barons, oh, another Kraken. So our opponent's probably Colorless Ramp. Eh, eh, Guardian Idol. See if our opponent activates it. Um, we will grab a mountain just in case they try to guardian idol. Uh, well, more tap lands. Run out the Rhymewood Forest. Colorless Ramp is kind of scary. It can do some pretty powerful things pretty quick. Mines down. Guardian idol. Well, there's slumber. Although our opponent's gonna have six mana next turn. Hmm, yeah, let's go bottom. We already have so many big things. We'd rather hit a ramp spell that puts something directly on the battlefield. Like a into the north, top Fury stomper. Gonna do some scrying with Zulfran's Void. Do they have a big scary planeswalker? Well, he, okay, can respect that. Huter and Archive. I mean, I guess the good news is we can liquid metal coating. This could have went worse. We can kill the Karn. So we're not just hard lock yet. Oh, that would have been so good last turn. <laughs> All right, we gotta, we gotta go bottom. We need to just lock into an untapped land for escape. Kill the Karn. 
Hopefully our opponent's out of action. Liquid Metal Coating doesn't really do anything without Karn. About it. Liquid Metal Coating. Oh no. Do they just have another Karn? Oh, all right. <laughs> GG. Well, yeah, no, once they start eating a land each turn, there's no, there's no coming back from that for our deck. Bring in the gates, bring in the brothers at end. I mean, Traverse is actually probably decent in this matchup because they don't really have instant speed removal. Maybe we go down like, yeah, just do a little trimming. Yeah, more like that. Brothers at end on artifacts could be relevant. That's our biggest hope, I think. Either that or just have a really fast draw. How's the hand looking? Well, we're one land away from Stomper into the bears, into maybe a Crossus, and we got, the, okay, this is fine. Probably gonna cycle the, the footfall crater to make sure we hit a land, but, uh, about it, scavenger grounds. Yeah, we're gonna cycle now in case we had a tap land. All right, there's the island and another forest. Well, we get to do things. We get to do things. We'll see if it's enough. I feel like I never beat Colorless Ramp. <laughs> the deck's not even like tier one, I don't think, or anything, but I just never beat it. Run out the Stomper. Grab a snow-covered mountain. Get all of our colors online. See if they have an Ugin or something. These bears are gonna be pretty big. And we can cast a big process at some point. Opponent. Oh. Frightening. Semblance Anvil exiles, exiles Heater and Archive, so all their artifacts cost two less. That is a little scary. Well, run out the bear. Grab a Faceless Haven. Pretty much always correct to grab the Faceless Haven. Play the Faceless Haven, pass the turn. Let's see how bad this is with our opponent having that two mana discount. Five cards in hand. Heater and Archive. Karn. I mean, we should be able to kill the Karn, right? That's something. What do they tutor up? I kind of hate Karn. I kind of hate Karn. Forsaken Monument, oh boy. Well, I mean, I guess we do what we what we can do, which is into the north, get a Faceless Haven, play another bear. I guess it's still Faceless Haven. I don't know if we'll ever have mana to fire up three at once. Yeah, we'll just take an island. There's no way we're ever gonna get three going. Kill the Karn, hit our opponent. But our opponent should have a pretty good turn here. Artifacts cost two less and colorless sources will tap for double mana. That's a thing. I guess we just gotta hope they don't really have action. Well, let's see what happens. Forsaken Monument. And it also gains life, which is kind of relevant here. Only three cards in hand though. Cloud Key, that does nothing, sure. And the Heater and Archives tap so they can't draw with it. Oh, maybe we're good. Guardian Idol, sure. Do we have them? Sculpting Steel. Opponent's out of cards. Oh, okay, so they copy, oh no. Okay, copies Hedron Archive so they can draw two. Oh, opponent's got a, <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, uh, well, Traverse get the rest of our lands to make up for the ones that just got blown up. Not lethal though. Oh, I can't believe they drew into that. Oh. Our opponent's hand was nothing. Next time Tomer says Heater Dark, I'm as bad. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get this uh, this gameplay footage tattooed. We need a way to tattoo videos on ourselves. I need to find a way to tattoo this video on my forehead. <laughs> and when Tomer says Heater Dark, I'm as bad, boom, just play this video. Drawing two off the mana rock literally, literally kept our opponent alive. And now they're again out of cards, but guess what they have? They have a Heater Archive. You know what's busted? Drawing two with your mana rocks. Opponent's ex Heater. Okay, yeah, see. It's a Hedron Archive win. It's a Hedron Archive win. None of this would have happened without Hedron Archive. Without our opponent having Hedron Archive, we win this game. Going away, no problem. Opponent's out of cards. There's no Sundering Titan. There's no Karn. None of this stuff happens. Opponent gets a, oh golly. Gets a Mystical Forge. And a Mind Stone. Hedron Archive. That's a Hedron Archive win. Tomer, 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 Tomer. Oh my. Wait, did they just cast a Kozilek off the top of their deck in early DGS? Looks like. And a Guardian Idol for free. I mean, at this point, all their stuff is ridiculously cheap. Foundry Inspector, even cheaper. Staff of Domination. <laughs> I mean, our opponent's deck look like uh, looks like it's probably very fun when it goes off. When your opponent just like counters your thing, yeah, I'm I'm sure it goes a little bit a little bit worse. But opponents live in the dream. We're allowing our opponent to live the heater and archive dream. About it gets in with Sundering Titan. Mm-hmm. So is there any realistic way of us winning this game? Is there? Oh, 
now we draw the Brotherhood end. That would have been so good if we weren't already behind, I mean, our opponent's entire deck. <laughs> if they hadn't already done all this, the Brotherhood end, it gets rid of almost all the problems. So we get to, I mean, I guess we cast a relatively big Hydroid Crosses. Draw some cards, gain some life, get a big flyer. Our opponent can also discard cards to counter potentially with Kozilek if they have the right mana value. Oh, they probably mostly have lands in hand. Well, a bunch of Escape to the Wilds. We get the Crosses and yeah, Brotherhood End, Artifacts. That's like a 40 for one, but I think we're still just dead. Not good enough. All right, pass the turn, opponent. <laughs> Heater and Archive. It's a good magic card. <laughs> too too good of a magic card for us, apparently. <laughs> well, fair enough. Against the odds time, we are <laughs> trying to unleash Merit Lodge in historic on Magic Arena. And can we get the 2020 going? Ooh, I like the amount of ramp this hand has. Ramp, 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 escape to the wild. Oh my god, and a Merit Lodge. Okay, this is... This is a hand that can make a pretty fast Merit Lodge, I think. Hopefully we don't get thoughts. Oh boy, Dreadhorde Arcanist. It's a scary card that we don't have an answer for. Well, land. A faceless haven. Goo. No discard. Uh, double discard off Dreadhorde would be... Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, we take one. That's fine. Fable the Mirror Breaker. That can stock the graveyard for our opponent next turn. Oh, we might have to go. We might have to go the upside line here. Topiary Stomper into Traverse. Yep, get down the Stomper. Do a little ramping. Grab a, doesn't really matter, Snowgovern Mountain. So if our opponent taps out, we can uh, ramp four basics. That'll get us essentially to Merit Lodge. Goes to Combat. Wow, this Dreadhorde Arcanist has done nothing. I don't know if I've ever seen a Dreadhorde Arcanist do this much nothing before. Opponent, treasure, cracks it, fatal bush. Well, now I guess we can, we can either Merit Lodge, Terra Stomper, or escape to the wilds, try to hit a land Merit Lodge. Yeah, let's, let's escape. We should hit a land and be able to Merit Lodge. And we'll have a bunch of cards for next turn. Oh dear. <laughs> On second thought, yeah, that was about as bad as that escape could go. We don't even get to play the Merit Lodge. Yeah, okay, Bone Crusher Giant, stomps our face, untaps, flips the fable. We are getting a low into Chandra. We're getting a little low on life. A little low on life. Bone, it gets in, hits us. Fatal Push does nothing, gets a treasure down to 11. Chandra. Yep. Takes up for mana. Graveyard Trespasser. All right, down to 10. There's the land we wanted last turn. So I think hopefully we can stay alive. Can we stay alive, flip Merit Lodge, and have the footfall? That would be the best case. Hopefully. All right. Terra Stomper, or Topiary Stomper. Grab a land. Oh, we can't do everything. We just don't have the right colors of mana. So I think we gotta wait two turns because we have to Icebreaker Kraken or we're gonna die to keep some stuff tapped down. So Icebreaker Kraken, tap it down. Oh, so we gotta survive two turns, basically. Crater Footfall. The pinch on blue mana means we couldn't do everything. Well, hey, up the Icebreaker Kraken. Kill the Chandra. Can we survive? Opponent. Oh, or is Merit Lodge gonna slumber a little bit too long? Okay, land, that's fine. Season Pyromancer. Draws a couple cards. And the Reflections is on. Passes. All right, so they're trying to set up to win next turn. We draw land. Do we survive? Do we survive this attack? They can copy something with Reflection too? Well, all right, Merit Lodge is slumber. The all-powerful scry. Do not want Traverse. One, two, three. Topiary Stomper. Get a land. Scry. I don't even know. It doesn't really matter. We either win, win or lose next turn, I think. Either we die in this attack or hopefully Merit Lodge wins. Although our opponent's at 21, which is a problem. That's one point of life too much. So we will pass. We'll leave up the Faceless Haven to block. 
About it. Gonna copy Season Pyromancer. Sure. Discards two lands, draws some cards. Oh, are we gonna end up one point of life short? Oh, that's actually huge. Okay, opponent goes to 19. Wow, that was a risky thought, Seize. I don't think there's any creatures in the graveyard, so Graveyard Trespasser can't gain life. Can we block our way through this? They copy Graveyard Trespasser. We block. Wow, I think this might work. I think if our opponent didn't thought seize there, we would have been one point of damage short and we would lose. But because they thought seized, yeah, no, no creatures, so they can't gain life here. Wow, because they thought seized, I think we block survive and then win with Mary. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, the, the downside on thought seize, actually relevant. Actually relevant, that losing two life, opponent swings with everything. So they can fatal push something. Sure, exiles random stuff, makes a treasure. Yeah, the treasure gives them to revolt for the thought seize. I mean, I guess we just fire up the Faceless Haven. Doesn't really matter. We have enough snow permanence either way, and we need the blocking. All right, Zach's the treasure. Oh no. Oh no. Do we die now? Fatal push from hand. Kills them both. Wait, block, block, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to one. Oh, we go to three. Oh, this is tapped. Yeah, okay, we go to three. Bone, oh, we got it. Oh my goodness, we got it. Mirage, Mirage power. <laughs> Did we break it? <laughs> Did we break it with Merit Lodge? Uh, yeah, we will uh, give that trample in haste, I think. Opponent, thank you for casting that Thought Seize. If our opponent hand cast that Thought Seize, we, there's no way we win. Opponent, negative one. Wow, Thought Seize themselves to death. Brothers at end seems fine. We don't have a ton, probably just a bit more removal, I guess. Trim a little top end, trim trim the traverse, trim a kraken. They really need to add uh, abominable tree folk. That's the that's the biggest snow thing I think we're missing. That and dread of winter. Those would be the two big ones. But abominable tree folk, every time we play that card in modern, it does so much work. It's just, it's so good. It doesn't look good, but it's always so good. I wish that was on arena. All right, game two. Rakdos, opponent on the play. Well, we got Brotherhood End. That's sweet. Oh, no, Swamp. And, well, we had Brotherhood End. It was going to be sweet. Oh, <laughs> uh, Into the North is good, though. Do not mind doing a little ramp in here. Uh, opponent. Into the North was going to be good. Oh, they take the escape. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, go, go, Bears. Spirit of Aldgard. It's as close as we can get to. It's as close as we can get to. Abominable Tree Folk. It's way worse, but it's as close as we can get on Arena. Oh, there's Merit Lodge too. What we really want is the Traverse the Outlands ramp. So I think we play the bear. I think we play the bear. I guess we should have got a duel with Into the North, shouldn't we? Red, red, blue, blue. Yeah, take Snow Covered Island, go. So if our opponent taps out and we have the bear, we can just traverse and get five basics and that gets us to Marilage. If they don't tap out, we probably just play another bear and wait a turn. Yeah, we're gonna take it. We really wanna, we really wanna traverse if we can. Another Bone Crusher. I mean, that should make it safe, right? So land traverse for one mana, they don't have revolt for fatal push. Wow, okay. Traverse is so risky, but when it works, it's so explosive. Uh, yes, we will put five basic lands into play. Yes, we will make a 10-10. We will attack you with the 10-10. And now next turn we get to Merit Lodge and we can play another spirit of uh, Old Guard. Older Grad, Older Grad. I mean, it's done its job. It came down, got a land, let us ramp five times with traverse. Yeah, opponent trades off. Taking 10 is, that's a lot. We do need to dodge Thought Seize for a turn. Opponent hits us, sure. No discard. Oh, opponent passes. We will, uh, Mirror Lashes Slumber. Mm -hmm. Useless Scry to the bottom. Spirit of Aldergrad. Uh, yeah, tutor first so we get to scry after. I mean, in our dream world, we we hit Trample and Haste. Footfall Crater, just to win the game right away would be sweet. Uh, into the north, not a Footfall Crater. Phaseless Haven, scry, can we hit a Footfall Crater? I mean, even if we don't hit it, Merit Lage wins in two turns. Wow, a lot of lands. Best turn.
staring down the biggest baddest threat that is possible on arena chandra good card that is a good card does not be to Marilage. they could have like feed this worm i guess ticks up desperation mm, fable the mirror breaker and scoops it up they see it coming and well we didn't get to see the mirror lodge that last game but that was a mirror lodge win taking out rakdos sweet 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 against odds time we are trying to unleash merit lage lodge in historic and we're gonna keep this hand it is super risky um we need to grow a green source the upside of this hand is spirit of all yard into traverse gives a gives us nothing we probably shouldn't have kept this hand <laughs> <laughs> on second thought well merit leash actually kind of helps here the scrying power although these two traverses are not looking great awkward awkward we have way more lands than we need but we have no green mana so i think we have to keep fabled passage about it land where else faceless haven scry ah <sighs> not enough <laughs> We've had some uh, some mana issues with this deck. I mean, we are playing a ton of basics. To make the Traverse Outlands plan work, we need to play a ton of basics. So we're pretty light on dual lands, which I guess has the upside of making the deck more budget friendly. But the downside that occasionally our mana just doesn't work. Tireless Tracker. Are we playing against Phil? Jim Davis? <laughs> who who plays Tireless Tracker in 2023? Other than those two. Other than those two. About it gets a clue. Oh, God. Okay. Highland Forest Scry. We already got one of those. It's a merit leash to the bottom. Uh, past the turn. Wow, we're just gonna die to Tireless Tracker, aren't we? Yeah. So this this hand is not working out. And cracks the glue. Draws a card. Grows the Tireless Tracker. Do it again. <laughs> I mean, we honestly can not beat this Tireless Tracker at the moment. Actually, now that it's a 5-4, we don't even have any removal in our main deck that can kill it. Another elf. All right. Not looking great. So I guess our hope would be to somehow make a Merit Lage before we die. But that is asking a lot. Oh, God, another land. Well, we're seeing we're seeing the downside of Traverse Outlands. I wonder if it's worth it. I really wanted to try Traverse Outlands. I've never played a Traverse Outlands deck because the common wisdom is that it is too inconsistent to actually work in 60 card formats because you have to have a creature on the battlefield for it to do anything and you really need a big creature for it to do what you want it to do that there's risk of getting blown out in response or not having a creature we're seeing the the floor of traverse here we draw two of them we got our creature thought seized i mean we're we're doing nothing we're doing literally nothing so we'll see i'm, I'm very curious by the time we get to the end of our against odds this week how we feel about traverse like is it actually something that's worth considering opponent's gonna blow up our merit lodge i guess scrying first doesn't really matter because we're gonna shuffle anyway i mean this one i think we're just literally dead here we'll grab a land sure 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 cracks the clue draws a card wow we're just like literally dead on board if we don't draw something i mean i guess we could chump with faceless haven but all right well <laughs> and we scoop him up i mean so really that's kind of our fault i think we just probably should not have kept that hand bring in a bit more removal trim some expensive stuff and after that last game probably a couple traverses <laughs> that last game did not did not make me comfortable with the traverse plan we're on the play our hand probably can't be worse than the last one so that's that's a bit of good news we will play first all right this sounds actually really good this is a hand where traverse could be excellent well highland forest go i mean i guess we need to draw land in our first couple turns but i mean this hand ugh. Oh no, another traverse. I'll kill the elf. <laughs> oh no, if we keep drawing traverses and not lands, Pona has an elf. It's not traverse at least. Oh, I really like this hand too. Opponent, untap land. The questing beast. Down to 60. The dagger. Fabled passage. A tap land. Opponent shield yeah all right <laughs> not beating that ever a little bit awkward that game next time though we'll get them against the odds time we are trying to unleash merit lage on magic arena and historic and we're gonna keep this we got the merit lage we also have two traverses which either we actually do the thing that we've been trying to do which is like turbo merit lage with traverse or they do nothing 
We don't really have a cheap creature to go with them yet. Frostbite, a opponent. Ooh, Interplanar Beacon. So opponent appears to be a Super Friends deck. They are a Kruga deck, so they shouldn't. Do they have Mystical Dispute? Cheating. Oh, the fact that this is not resolved yet makes me very nervous that they have something. It's got to be. Oh my God, they do. Oh, I thought we were safe because of Karuga. All right. Opponent. That's how it's going to be, eh? Nar set. Looks like Super Friends to me. Karuga Super Friends. Super Friends going to get so much better with, with the new Phyrexia stuff. I mean, definitely the best Super Friends set since War of the Spark. And payoff wise, I think it's even better. Like War of the Spark has better Planeswalkers, but the support pieces, like the double proliferate Panharmonicon thing, Icker or whatever, that gives your Planeswalkers the proliferate ability and whatnot. Like those are some of the strongest Super Friends cards I've ever seen. Bonnet, Narset, hits a Narset, Narset's oh, a git. I mean, once we get red, uh, another mystical dispute, that's fine. We do need red mana eventually. I do like Faceless Haven. Faceless Haven's pretty good at attacking Planeswalkers. I wonder if Karuga is actually worth it. More Narsets. I mean, if they take down Narset, we just snipe it with Faceless Haven. So they spent, what, six mana and cycled Narset three times? Six mana draw three, and they're gonna suck up a Faceless Haven attack here? Could be worse. All right, well, here comes the Faceless Haven. There goes the Narset. Pretty confident they're not gonna kill it. <laughs> Karuga, Karuga's gotta mean something, right? <laughs> Watch him Leyline Binding or something. Dovin Hand of Control. The ever underappreciated Dovin. Actually pretty good against Faceless Haven. Yeah, I wonder, so what's the upside? I know Karuga like draws you cards, but if you're super friends, well, there's our red mana, a little tapid, but if, uh, if you're a Super Friends deck, it seems like you should generate enough card advantage. I wonder if it's worth the cost to actually have Karuga as a companion. We'll see. Let's see if our opponent does anything with it. I would lean towards no, but all right, there's Teferi. The watered down version. Does the same stuff mostly, but more expensive, more loyalty. A bit nerfed. A bone it takes up Dovin. Well, here we Frostbite go. the Dovin. And then hopefully, the hopefully Faceless Haven through the Teferi. We do know our opponent has that counter, so we gotta, gotta be aware. Oh, uh, but ooh, Karn, okay. Oh, that's not great. If they get liquid metal coating, we might be in trouble. I mean, I guess if they get liquid metal coating, we kill the Karn. So I guess it's not the end of the world. This Faceless Haven is keeping us in this game. <laughs> it is the only thing we have going for us at the moment, but it is, it is a Planeswalker assassin. It is just sniping Planeswalkers left and right. Phone it, Karn. Liquid metal coating. I mean, now we gotta kill the Karn. Karn liquid metal coating does just beat us. But hopefully we kill the Karn. We draw even more, even more lands. Well, we're getting close to being able to traverse off of Faceless Haven. About it. Yeah. Karn down. Play the land. Wow, Teferi on seven. Yeah, that one's gonna live for a minute. All right, runs out the liquid metal coating. Oh, I guess if they have a second Karn, we're kind of done. Second card, yeah, <laughs> scoop it up. I mean, maybe that's an early scoop. I know you can argue like, oh, you can play Icebreaker Kraken or whatever, but then Teferi bounces it, then they eat another land. I normally, if my opponent has Karn Liquid Metal Coating and I can't immediately interact with it, I just consider it a win. I, I know that's not technically correct, but eh. Against Super Friends, we probably want all the counters and the Star of Extinctions. As a as a planeswalker wrath, trim a traverse, trim a icebreaker kraken. Yeah, probably two traverses. So far, traverse has been what people have said they thought it was. <laughs> Kraken's not very good against non-creature decks. All right, let's run it like that. We got a little more interaction. Run it back. See if we can merit Lasium. I mean, this deck should give us some time to get things set up. It's not fast, but oh, Star of Extinction. Well, we got no Merit Lodge, but we got some ramp. And we can ramp into Star of Extinction. Island, ooh, double, double stompy. So good, so good. Into the north being able to get Faceless Haven, so nice. Can also get a dual land if we need it to. Oh, we might be able to do it. Okay, Tapiri Stomper. Are we actually gonna see Traverse do things? I don't even know if we wanna show our opponent Footfall Craters. I kinda like it being a surprise at the moment. 
Well, if our opponent taps out, we will fire off this traverse. Narset, okay. Wow, this is so good. Our traverse has been so disappointing, but it's going to be absurd here. Four lands. So we'll essentially be to Merit Lodge. We will be to Merit Lodge if we find it. And it's going to turn on Stomper to hit the Narset. So maybe traverse is exactly what people say it is. <laughs> it's, it's inconsistent, but when it works, Oh, four lands, four lands for five mana. What other card in Magic is going to do that for us? Play the Valtail Fjorge and hit the Narsa, kill it, pass the turn. Well, now we just want Marilage. If we invite Marilage, we even have haste with Footfall Crater. We will get him. And Topiary Stamper is not the, the best thing to bounce with Teferi. We get to just keep ramping. And we got our, our faceless haven for the beatdowns. What are you gonna do, super friends? What are you gonna do? All right, Rod, that's a very sure. Is this Teferi just to... Okay, they're, they are gonna bounce it. Interesting. Star of Extinction, eh? Well, I think we wait on that. Even though blowing up a land would be nice. Let's fire Faceless Haven. Planeswalker Assassin Faceless Haven. Show Teferi what's up. And do some more stomping. I mean, we're thinning our deck pretty aggressively. Which I know is not like that real of a thing but if you can get this many lands out of your deck i mean we have because of traverse and these stompers we've ramped something like eight lands out of our deck that's actually meaningful that's uh, that's a huge that's one third of our lands are gone so that actually is enough to shift the math i think deck fitting a single land oh all right well up to you faceless haven come on buddy oh all right more stompers well now we can play the crater football too tabiri stomper Land nine ramped out of the deck. Footfall crater on a forest and faceless haven. And hit you for eight. I mean, we're not merit lodging, but we are beating our opponent down. Down to 12. I mean, we might be able to just win with the janky beats. But I want to see the 2020 with haste. Ooh, big to fairy. Okay. Okay, gains a life. I mean, I guess they're tucking it. Okay. I mean, these Planeswalkers are <laughs> getting absolutely wrecked by Vasil Saved. Oh, Traverse thou. Ooh. Do we have enough mana to do this? I think we do. Oh, we definitely do. All right. Keep thinning the deck, Faceless Haven. Ridiculous. The Planeswalker serial killer over here. Another, another Planeswalker down. Traverse the Outlands. Get the rest of our basics. Okay. I mean, we're going to start drawing action at some point because there really aren't other options. Even like the lands left in our deck are like half faceless havens and those are kind of wins at this point too. Next time our opponent plays a Planeswalker, we might just starve extinction. Our opponents missed a couple land drops. Well, all right. They found a land. The Karn like Rank Creator. Mm-hmm. Well, at this point, we have so many lands that even Karn, losing the, the Faceless Haven would be bad, but just losing a land is not a big deal at this point because we have roughly infinite mana. Well, I guess our opponent's gonna know about these Star of Extinction. Sorcerer's Spyglass. I mean, this is good for our opponent. It does shut down that Faceless Haven, which was so dominant. Although it also lets our opponent know that we have both of our Star of Extinctions in hand. I do kind of love Star of Extinction. Ooh, oh, there it is. Uh, that is Merit Lage's Slumber. We will play it. We'll keep another one in case the first one's dealt with. We'll Starve Extinction to get rid of the Karn, blow up the life gain. Also, Starve Extinction. Oh, remember when Arena first came out and it had epic animations? When they first announced Arena, I was like, I don't know if I really care about animations. Like, whatever, I'm a Magic Online player. I'm used to playing on a spreadsheet. But some of the early animations were pretty sweet. And Starve Extinction is... That one's S tier. That one, oh, it's so good. That one in the the giant's hand from Realm Club Giant. All right, there's Teferi. Well, I guess I'm glad we left the Merit Lage's Slumber on top. So opponent has to tuck or else they just die. So opponent tugs Merit Lage's Slumber. Little do they know, <laughs> there's another one. Merit Lage's Slumber number two. On the top of the deck, we have Footfall Crater, which, I mean, we can cycle it. Sure, we have so much mana. The next card is, yeah, Merit Lage's Slumber. Well, Star of Extinction. A dual land. 
Spawn us down to four mana. We have so much more mana. Look at that anim animation. It's so good. Can you answer Merit Lage's slumber? I mean, opponent has to do this forever because if we ever get Merit Lage with Trample and Haste, they just, it's over. It is over. We have achieved our goal. <laughs> and we even did it with Traverse Outlands. We actually made Traverse Outlands kind of work. Opponent. Another Teferi. Do it again. Tuck the Merit Lage. We get another one. Opponent chooses death. Okay. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, I guess I, I thought you had to tuck the Merit Lage of Slumber, but apparently you don't have to. The other option is not to do that, and we get a hasty 2020 Flying Indestructible. Attack you, and you have an... <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess, I guess, uh... <laughs> Has to tug Merit Lady of Slumber is a little too strong of a term there. <laughs> Technically, you don't have to. We'll take it. That was a Merit Lady win. <laughs> I don't know why we won with it. I mean, maybe our opponent just felt like they were going to lose. They knew it was going to keep coming because they tugged the other one. So maybe they just were like, we're done for anyway. I will say the crew does not impress me from our opponent's deck. We haven't seen our opponent put it in hand. It seems like our opponent's dealing with the companion restriction, but getting no upside. Like, you could play cheap removal. That's why we're not especially afraid of, like, that Merit or whatever what are you gonna do you you're gonna have a karuga so it's not like you can play oh merit lodge all right let's do it again merit lodge one more time against super friend tribal over there i'm curious if you're watching this are super friends cool i'm very intrigued by the the potential of super friends with all the new cards get out merit lager slumber uh, we'll keep the bear I mean, very intrigued by the possibilities of Super Friends. Are Super Friends cool again? Or you burn out with them because of like War of the Spark a while ago or whatever? Like, how will you feel about several potentially Super Friends videos after Frexia <laughs> comes out? How about it? Takes down the Narset. Another Narset. Well, play the land. Scry doesn't matter. Topiary Stomper. Mountain. Do we want a Faceless Haven? I mean, Faceless Haven's great, but we can tutor it up with a bear anyway. Yeah, I think we can put it to the bottom. We'd rather draw some action. All right, so opponent gets to take down Narset into Mystical Dispute. I mean, so right now we're at what? Five snow permanents. So we still got a little ways to go before before we get the Merit Lodge, but we're not that far away. It's not, not infinitely far away. Uh, opponent. All right, another Narset. Double Interplanar Beacon is uh, giving our opponent some life here. Although I guess Mirror Lodge is so big. I guess the difference is they, they could get it to a two turn clock rather than a one turn clock. The biggest upside to Mirror Lodge is it does just make you die in one attack normally. All right, opponent takes down Narset. Well, we probably are gonna have to frostbite this. All right, there's a Karn. Yeah, we can't turn on the Stompers yet. Ooh, ooh. How do we want to do this? Stomper, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. So we stomp her, gonna land. Scry. Do we wanna tap land? One, two, yeah. So the bear gets us a land next turn. Play the Fabled Passage. Frostbite the Narset. So the bear gets us a land, which turns on the stompers. And we're getting close. We're getting close to the Merit Lage. Not especially scared of Karn at the moment. Wrath of God. All right, Fabled Passage. Get a snow-covered island. Eh, we're gonna get one with a bear. Oh, 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 oh! This is a good time for the footfall crater. Okay, one, two, three, four. So we get to play the bear, which is also snow for Marilage's slumber. Grab a faceless haven. Uh, land to the bottom. Play the Faceless Haven. Keep another bear. Football Crater. Hit you for eight with haste. Yeah, even without Merit Lodge, just like hasty, hasty Spirit of Vulgar is kind of a lot of damage. Found it down to 15. Oh, we're so close. We're two turns from Merit Lodge. Although our opponent, okay, Teferi gains two. Never seen it to. <laughs> To fairies do more tucking. I mean, I guess our opponent's been in a position where they've kind of had to, but all right, well, I mean, yeah, let's tap the faceless haven. That's better. So play the bear. Tutor up faceless haven. 
Land to the bottom. Play the faceless haven. Scry. Huh? Okay. Another bear. Just just keep ball lightning in these bears. Get rid of the Teferi. Haze up the bear. I think our opponent's done. I think they're done. We're hitting them for nine. And then Mirror Lodge is coming. So I have to deal with a bear and the Mirror Lodge of Slumber or else they die this turn. Opponent needs a farewell. They need farewell. That's the card that could get them out of this. About it, looking at their hand. Plays a Castle Arden Veil. That is not going to do it against a Mirror Lodge. Dovin. I mean, that stops the bear, but it doesn't stop the Merit Lodge. Narset. I think we got him. Oh my goodness, taking down Super Friends with Merit Lodge of all things. Well, it takes down Narset, but remember their Karuga deck. So I will say pretty confidently, I don't think Kruka's worth it in our opponent's deck at this point. The fact that we don't have to worry about cheap removal, oh, it feels so good. Like, we don't have to be concerned that they're going to have something that's going to interact with this, because they can't because of Karuga. Opponent gets a Teferi. Very good card, but not if you're dead. Gonna take up on the bear, I assume. But here comes the Merit Lodge. Untap. Haste it. 20, 20, flying, indestructible at your face. And GG Super Friends. GG Super Friends. Whoo. All right. <laughs> that was a sweet win. That was a super sweet win. When it works, it's pretty good. Yeah, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Merit Lage's Slumber on Magic Arena? And it kind of worked. Overall, I played eight matches with the deck. Went exactly 50-50. So one four and lost four. Not bad considering just how wild this deck is. More importantly, almost all of our wins came because of Merit Lage. We had a couple of like beat you down with other stuff wins. But most of the time, the like kind of do the ramping thing and stay alive and then Merit Lage and give it haste and smash you with Crater Footfalls. It actually worked and we got to see that most of the time, a 2020 Indestructible is just straight up unbeatable. We did get got once by an Ashiok against the Grixis control deck, but otherwise, every time we got it, it just closed out the game. So, I don't know. I think uh, Snow is missing some important pieces. I mentioned it a little bit in the video. Abominable Tree Folk is like one of the best Snow cards, not on Arena. Dead of Winter, that's not on Arena. So, we could use some more of the Snow support cards to really power this up, but I got to say going 50 50 as far as win percent with this deck kind of surprised me because if you look at it it's pretty janky the other card i wanted to mention was traverse outlands and i think the common wisdom about the card that it's too inconsistent to really be good is probably mostly true if you look back through our matches we had some games where it went off and it was awesome and it does work really well with the plan of our deck since we want to get to 10 snow lands or 10 snow permanents for merrill ages slumber so it does work really well with the plan of the deck and we got to see some games where it did exactly what we were hoping to do like we get down a spirit of old guard which was actually super impressive not quite abominable tree folk but that card is a bit of a sleeper way better than i expected it to be uh, but we would get down something like that or top Fury stomper and just ramp four or five times get to 10 lands super quickly win the game we also got to see games where it was literally just stuck in our hand or scribed to the bottom or we were too afraid to cast it because we were probably going to get blown out by a removal spell so it is what it is like when it works it's one of the more ridiculous ram spells that we have access to the problem is when it doesn't work it is literally a dead card that does absolutely nothing so i don't know if the upside outweighs the downside of the card but it was really fun to try out and like i said when it works it is actually super spectacular so i I think overall the deck kind of impressed me not to say it's busted or anything like that but it actually worked pretty well considering just like how weird and janky it is and what we're built around so i feel like overall pretty successful day for merit lage and snow on magic arena and historic so anyway that is merit lage awaking from its slumber that's better gets the odds for this week thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon